welcome to another video. <laughs> so, <laughs> we are leaving from Mood now and heading off to Kaza. Uh, again, same uh, thing. One and a half hour of off-roading and then we'll get there. So, not so excited but we have to do it. So, let's do it. Again, as a reminder, I would like to let you guys know that if you are coming here, be prepared. No SIM cards are working as of now. They are working on it. Uh, Geo might come, he, he mentioned. But uh, definitely, if you're coming here, don't expect to make calls or internet. <laughs> this place is completely offline. So a great place to uh, reconnect. Let's go and reconnect. So let's go to Kaza. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Jim and you are watching the 11th episode of Spiti Circuit where we finally visit the place that I always wanted to go. It's over 6 years I've been manifesting about this place and today it's happening. I'm visiting Kaza to see the key monastery and what's even better is that my room has the view of the key monastery and at night you can take photos of the galaxy from there so let's not waste our time let's just go get over that one and a half two hours of off-roading and get to the beautiful casa let's do it the whole route from this bridge till you reach mood village is just off-roading there is no road and uh, finally we are done with it we are almost going to cross the bridge and on to the main road and off to Kaza oh yeah road We are going to Spiti Village Resort. This is a Spiti Villa Resort. It's on the same road. It's right here. There's a foot of It's just down the road. Our room. What's the name of this room, Garo? Uh, Valley. Valleys. Valley View, Valley View room. Yeah. So we are staying at the Valley View room, right in front of the monastery. Yes, most iconic place in Key. Now let me show you the room. And here we are. Finally made it to Kaza. We are staying in the Key village. We are and we are staying at a place. Unlike any other, a mud hotel with an unbeatable view of the iconic Key Monastery. Now this hotel isn't just built from mud, it's a tribute to the region's age-old building techniques, earthy, sustainable and designed to keep you connected with Spiti's rugged charm. Step inside and the vibe is all about rustic comfort from thick mud walls that naturally insulate to wooden beams and handcrafted furniture, every corner of this space feels earthy and authentic. The decor is simple yet perfectly in tune with the surroundings organic, cozy and warm. You'll feel right at home with these little touches that makes all the difference. But here's what really steals the show. 
the view. Imagine waking up to the key monastery standing proud against the spiti skyline with the valley stretching out below or perhaps having breakfast with the view of key monastery as your backdrop. Whether it's the golden hour at sunset or the first light of dawn, the view is nothing short of magical. So if you're looking for a stay that's unique as the valley itself, this mud hotel should be on your bucket list. It's not just a room, it's an experience. This is Spiti Village Resort. Now because we reached late at the resort, uh, we decided to just stay back, uh, relax, have some tea, some snacks and fly our drone to get such beautiful shots of the key monastery. We got some work done uh, like copying photos, editing some videos and stuff and then we just headed off for dinner. And since Spiti Village Resort was hosting us, little did we know what we were in for. Check it out. So, today kuch... we have too much food for us today. What is this? What is this? What is this? Cottage cheese stick. Cottage cheese stick. But it's also cottage cheese, it's also paneer, right? So, yeah. Paneer. Okay. So, we have chicken paneer. Chicken paneer. Uh, chili chicken. Alright, oh, yeah, explain, chicken. please. Explain. We have a manager here. Please explain what do we have for dinner today. Okay. Uh, this is chili chicken, that is drums of heaven. This is uh, soya chaat, that is cottage cheese stick, and that is uh, paneer tikka. Paneer tikka. So there is more coming. These are non veg poison, <laughs> and we'll <laughs> share the veg. <laughs> Austin, yaar, I, I really expect you to please join us for dinner as well. Um, this no. is too much, dude. <laughs> Go on, people are saying. Or how much we get? <laughs> Come on, yeah. I can't believe so, they made so much food for us. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually too much. And there's yeah, more there's coming. There's more and coming. And there's more coming. There's a pizza and everything. Else. Food is here, all set. We have so pizza, yes. Mexican pizza, right? Yes. Mexican pizza, paneer, chicken, chili, yeah. drumstick, pizza paneer, lots of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. It's all yours, Ashutosh. <laughs> oh, not mine. <laughs> so this is Sachin, our chef, who has created so such a big spread. And he's artist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sachin. Bahut yeah. chakana banana apne. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's day 18. Continuation from yesterday actually. So, yesterday, the dinner was so massive. Like A, it took us forever to finish. And then the head chef and the guy who manages the place, he came and joined us for dinner. And we had a long chat, ended up late. And uh, that was it actually. I didn't really get to finish the vlog last night, but here we are today going to explore. Yesterday we were just at the property, chilling, taking some videos, drone shoot, and all the fun stuff. But now we're heading off to the key monastery, the place we all been waiting for, and then comic Hikim and all that place. So let's not waste any time and let's go. All right, we have made it to the famous Ski Monastery and we are being escorted by this doggo, which is cool. So, there's a little bit of walking. And as you guys know, my cardio is not that good at high altitude. <laughs> so, okay, let's do it. Oh, there are some monks playing. Alright, so we all know what the famous key monastery looks like from the outside. But uh, let's see what it looks like from the inside. Let's go. Okay. 
that's your entrance to the monastery. for the monastery so we have all seen what key monastery looks like from the outside but let me show you what it looks like from the top so this is the monastery and that's your view So we are in the meditation room right now. Filming inside the temple is not allowed, but uh, I guess we can show you what the meditation room looks like. So Mr. Pempa, monk from the Key Monastery is showing us the way to go towards the Buddha statue. It is a bit confusing because there are a lot of steps and routes so you might end up getting lost but he's helping us out. The steps are so massive. So yeah, he helped us uh, get here faster. Which was a bit confusing because there are a lot of small roads and stairs leading to a different section of the monastery. But yeah, here we are. We're gonna quickly go to the Sri Buddha statue, the viewpoint, then head back for breakfast. Alrighty. So we made it here to the statue. The one. Uh, you get a good view of valley from here. Now, if you do come from top of the monastery, it is kind of tricky because there are a lot of steps coming down. You can come from the parking lot. It's easier, it's just one way. So we're going now to go a little up for the viewpoint, take some photos and videos of the beautiful Key Monastery and then head back down, down there. All right, so we are coming up on the, this actually down there, there's a viewpoint, but we came more up to get a better view and get some better photos. It is a bit steep. So when you come up and go down, just be slightly careful. But it's totally worth it. For sure. So Ashutosh, uska mein video. So Ashutosh got a picture of me with a Polaroid. And uh, that's what he got. It's getting kind of cool down printed. I don't know what you call it. But uh, it takes about 40 seconds for it to reveal itself. And huge thanks to Mr. Ashutosh. Thank you so much. There we go. Dude, this looks so cool. With a date and all. Yeah. This is like really a cool thing to own. There we go. We're getting a printout of Ashutosh's Polaroid. So. Yeah, this one. So, we just need to do this. It's printing now. Please wait a moment. So, what are you There you go. Even the animation is super cool. Okay, yeah. So, it takes about. 30 to 40 seconds to reveal itself and then it will show up so like uh jab hum ek bar pahunch jayenge like apne room mein tab tak it will be more clear like oh, is it? oh. Yeah. show me yours thoda light hai i guess wo so ashutosh got some really good uh, actually got a really good polaroid photo of me and i'm really thankful to him for gifting me this uh, so as fun as it was to come up uh, to get the photo of this place it's equally difficult to get down 
it's quite difficult to get down actually it's quite steep all right uh all right we're gonna go back to our hotel and then uh, go back to hikim comic langza and all the fun places here in spiti valley so for the last time the beautiful key monastery let's go all right we got here a little late for breakfast but uh breakfast has been served and uh ordered for omelet and chai and stuff it's here we're going to have it with the view of key isn't this awesome hai na chalo breakfast karte hain and then we're going to head down no we're going to go to comic and all those other places so uh, let's quickly have breakfast and head out so he also we actually ordered for puri bhaji for ashutosh and omelet for me but they also got us pancakes and more stuff ashutosh unboxing ho jaye of our food <laughs> I think for the first time I'm actually unboxing food which is quite wow. Oh wow. But chocolate uh, pancakes and uh, sunny side up kya baat hai. So let's cover it. We will finish yeah, this first sure. and then it will be thanda ho jayega. Actually I want to have pancake now that I look at the chocolate. <laughs> okay. Let's eat our breakfast and then head over to Comic Langza Hall. Let's go. Uh, we left from Key and we are riding towards Langza now. I just stopped. Hold on. So I just stopped to show you the view from here. It looks just amazing. Watch this. So that's the Langza village. That's the Langza Buddha. Ooh. All right, let's go. Langza village in Spiti is known for his ancient fossils and a giant Buddha statue that seems to watch over the whole place. This village has been around for centuries and the people here are mainly from Tibetan Buddhist backgrounds. The fossils found in Langza come from when Spiti was under the Tethys Sea millions of years ago. Villagers would find and collect wow. these fossils, sometimes selling them to travelers. Let's go fossil to reveal कर रहे हैं ना? Let's go. चार दो बोलते हैं, चार दो। हम लोग का दो। Very nice. He just opened. So wow, look at that. आपको पता पता कैसे चलता है जब आपको ऐसे rocks मिलते हैं कि वो fossil ही हैं? ये थोड़े दिखाला होता है। अच्छा। पता चल जाता है आप लोगों को ना इसका कुछ ना कुछ सीरे बाहर निकल जाता You see this guy who's painting on the wall. Apparently, a lot of places he has painted. Uh, especially even this painting, he has done it. Let's go say hi to him. Hi, आपका वीडियो बनाओ और पेंट कर रहे हो ये. सुना आपने आज स्पीति में हर जगह पे आपने ही पेंटिंग किया. काफी सारे. ये पीछे वाला वॉल भी आप ही ने बनाया. बहुत ही अच्छा है बहुत सुंदर है यार लुक एट दिस पेंटिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस इज डन बाय हिम लेट मी शो यू द अदर साइड एज वेल लुक एट हाउ गॉजस दिस पेंटिंग्स आर अरे मिल्की वे वाला बहुत अच्छा है यार वन डे आई विल कैप्चर स्नो लेपर्ड सून सो दिस इज द लांगजा टेंपल and they have paintings on the wall which are like 400 years old gorgeous like it's just like the tabo paintings but this is this place is well lit so you can see all the paintings very nice 
and as just when i came outside i saw the man <laughs> uh breaking those stones which reveal the fossils which was wow just the right place at the right time <laughs> then i met the other guy who was painting the walls wow this place is incredible langza <laughs> crazy so friends we have made it to the highest village in the world connected with a motorable road and that's an achievement all right so we are here at the comic monastery which you can again say is the world's highest monastery that's connected by road so which is super cool there's also world's highest restaurant which i definitely want to have something at least just so i can say i've had tea coffee or whatever snacks at the world's highest cafe that's connected by road isn't that cool let's go inside now just like every monastery you cannot film inside a monastery you cannot take photos nothing so this is what it looks like from the outside do visit we just clicked pictures with a monk at the uh comic, comic monastery. monastery and check this out दिखा दीजिए द मस्कुलर मॉन्क समथिंग द वर्ल्ड हाइस्ट रेस्टोरेंट बिकॉज इट्स अ फीट इन इट्स कॉफी एट द वर्ल्ड हाइस्ट कैफे रेस्टोरेंट So uh we are going to our last destination that's Hikim uh, the post office world has been right there but uh, we just stopped to show you this beautiful view look at how gorgeous this looks it's just like those one of those paintings we used to paint to as children as a child <laughs> as a child we did all these paintings of mountains and villages and sun the only thing missing is a river but he can ha So we have made it to the world's highest post office in the world. Now, but unfortunately, because it's second Saturday and uh, tomorrow is Sunday, it's closed. So we didn't get a chance. Now there is the old post office down in the village, which we are going to check out. And there's a cafe that can actually post it for us. So we're gonna try and do that. But as of now. we realize it later on that we gonna get here late and we won't get to send a postcard but then also we found out big being the second saturday it's closed so no mind stuff like this happens but i'm still excited we got to see the post office we got cute doggies <laughs> doggies everywhere So here we are. We almost made it to the the oldest, the OG post office, the highest post office in the world. Some car paint and all sorts of things. Who did that? There is nothing like. All right. So this used to be the oldest and the world's highest post office, but now they have changed the paint. There used to be a paint that says. post office but now it's all moved up we just came from so all right time to head back okay so so i'm sending these two by speed post just in case these guys don't make it cuz there is a sometimes 50% chance they don't make it so i'm sending these three to my parents one for kanika one for my wife and one for my mother in law and in urai so hopefully they all make it but if not as a backup i'm also sending as a speed post let's do it all right so i know it's very late 
but they're still going to post it. We don't have the stamp, the other stamp that uh, the postmaster is gonna put, but he's gonna do it on Monday. So we're gonna post everything. Hold on. There we go. All right, our trip here has ended here in Kaza at the key village. Uh, we're just packing up. We just made a huge mess. We're just charging, copying data and everything. So we're almost done. We're going to pack up, leave for... Uh... Actually, before I finish, I just want to tell you about last night. After we put our letters in the post office, the road from Hikkim to Kaza is really bad. It's totally off-road. Now, if you had to go to Langza from Hikkim, then you would get a good road. But the, the road that goes from Hikkim to Kaza, it's a short route, but it's completely off-roading. And, and we did that in at night in darkness, which was quite adventurous and fun. And yeah, and I was running out of fuel. So we had to go to Kaza and uh, the petrol pump closed. And we somehow managed to find one liter of petrol from a guy who rents bike. We didn't get to film all this because we were late. We had to come back here, film dinner and stuff like that. So yeah, we did all that, came back here, had an amazing dinner. Let me show you some of the photos and videos. We had some amazing dinner. And then after that, that was it. Woke up in the morning, data copying, dealing, uh, delivering all the data to the hotel guys and all that stuff, uh, editing. And that was it. Now we are heading to Chicham. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do like, leave a comment, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video.